Unraveling, be in a blue funk, a dive into English expressions. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase that might sound a bit colorful at first. Be in a blue funk. Have you ever felt so down or disheartened that you couldn't find the right words to describe it? Well, English has a phrase for that feeling. Let's unpack what it means, its origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. Stay with us as we explore this unique expression. When someone says they're in a blue funk, they're not talking about a type of music or a color scheme for their room. This phrase is actually a vivid way to describe feeling very sad, depressed, or in a state of deep melancholy. The word, blue, in English is often associated with feelings of sadness, while, funk, here refers to a fearful state of mind or a gloomy mood. Together, they convey a sense of being overwhelmed by negative emotions or a lack of enthusiasm. The term, blue funk, has a rich history, dating back to the 18th century. Originally, funk, was used to describe a state of panic or fear, possibly deriving from the Flemish word, funk, which relates to agitation or disturbance. Over time, the color blue was added to emphasize the depth of the melancholy or depression associated with the feeling. This combination reflects how language evolves to capture the complexities of human emotions. Understanding the phrase is one thing, but using it effectively in conversation is another. Here are a few examples to help you incorporate, be in a blue funk, into your daily English. Expressing personal feelings, I've been in a blue funk ever since I heard the news. It's hard to shake off this feeling. Showing empathy, I noticed you've been in a bit of a blue funk lately. Want to talk about it? Describing someone else, after the championship game, the whole team was in a blue funk. It took a while for their spirits to lift. Understanding phrases like, be in a blue funk, enriches your English vocabulary and helps you express emotions with nuance and depth. Whether you're sharing your own feelings or empathizing with someone else's, this phrase is a powerful tool for communication. We hope this exploration has brightened your day and added a new expression to your English repertoire. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember, language learning is a journey filled with fascinating discoveries. Keep exploring and never hesitate to express the full spectrum of your emotions through the beautiful complexity of English. See you next time!